Hello there, my dear friends. You want to know about the story from the genie? This is the day. Are you ready? Are you ready, genie? Let's be prepared. I'm really blessed that I have this oil lamp. And this was a long journey until I got this. So I tell you, so many people ask me on the journey of this lamp. And I said, why not making a video where I can explain what happened, what magic happened that you are informed and it will stay online on YouTube forever. And the genie today had the desire to tell the story to you. And when he's ready, I'm also ready. So how do we get the, so many people want, please show us the genie. And very often I hide the genie, but today he convinced me, I want a peer and I want to see all the guests, the subscribers of this YouTube channel. I said, okay, your wish is my command. So how do we get the genie out of the bottle? Not with matches, no. There is a different way, a magic way. We have to concentrate, really concentrate, to get on the wavelength of the genie. And then we have to make these inner emotions. One, two, three, and Wow, he's there. Wonderful. So the genie is ready. We can tell the story. How the genie, the ghost in the bottle, came into my life. There was a time when I was really interested in the hookah stuff. I never smoked in my life. Cigarettes or this, never. This never attracted me. But this hookah stuff, this water pipe, was always they have this and they and this this um, strange I don't know we all know this we think on the world thousand and one nights and the same goes with the Chanupa from the Native Americans peace probably we have an association with inner peace I don't know anyway. There was a time when I was interested in hookah. And we had a store, an Egypt store in our city. We had also these hookahs and I visited a little. And this was hard to decide because they all looked nice. And I visited the store, I had a good conversation with the owner. And the more I was involved in the store, then I got the idea of an oil lamp. And I asked him, do you have an oil lamp? He said, no. I had this in the former times, but not anymore. And I thought the only way to get an oil lamp must be over this shop. There are these cheap metal lamps on Amazon, but this is just a decoration. This is cheap and has no worth. And I wanted a real oil lamp. And amazing, I always continued asking him, don't you have an oil lamp? Do you know how to get one? And he always said no, he disagreed. But I never gave up. It seems as something was calling me. And as I was so insisting, he said, just a moment. I think I still, let me look. And then he looked in all the drawers. And finally, he found this lamp. And I said, I know you have a lamp. One is enough. I just want one, not two or ten. This, this lamp was calling me. Normally, when we receive a no, we don't ask twice. But in this moment, I always kept asking. I was so close to the lamp. The lamp forced me to ask again. 
and he did not even know that he had this lamp. And then we negotiated the price. It was not cheap. But I said to myself, when this lamp wanted to come into the shop and I finally found the lamp, then it's not a matter of price high or low. Don't start negotiating. Just accept what he's asking for. And let's see what comes in my life together with the lamp. Then I bought the lamp, went home, filled it with oil, and it was amazing to see the burning lamp. But the disaster happened. The oil was running out of the lamp. There were a lot of holes in the lamp. And this petroleum, this oil, this finds any sm the smallest holes they get out. And this was a mess. <laughs> it was completely a mess. The oil was running out. I said, what a pity, I can't use this lamp. So what can I do? I don't know how to fix this. This lamp is heavy. This is nearly one kilogram. Heavy brass. This is really heavy. I said, how can I fix this? And then I tried to find a brass welder. Because as this is brass and this is made by hand, I needed to find a brass welder. And I found one. Just one, but one is enough. So I found him, said, I have a small lamp made out of brass and it has a leakage. Can you solder this? And they said, ah, let's see. And I went there and said, okay. I left the lamp. And he said to me, okay, it's not my main work. When all the other stuff is done, I will care for the lamp. And I waited two, three, four weeks. And then the lamp was ready. I got the lamp, filled it with oil. was so proud because it was soldered with silver. When they solder this, they make it with silver soldering. Beautiful. But the oil was running out. There were more holes. And then I called back. And this happened several times. I think I was there six times. The last time he said, get your lamp, don't come back. I won't touch this anymore. But this time the lamp was really well welded. Everything was sealed. I filled it with oil and the beauty came out. And the lamp talked to me. You repaired my meaning of life. Only with your help, I become a functional lamp that can do his job. And as I was six times there, the, at the end he even said, don't come back. The lamp was so happy with that. I have more to offer. I have more to offer. I cannot only give you light, but as you pleased my life, you repaired my life, you cared for me, I will tell you more secrets and I will accompany you through your life and I will give you perspectives, ideas. And we became more and more friends and I heard a lot of good stuff. And sometimes the lamp talks to me. I'm not talking with a voice. My brain, I can hear what the lamp wants to pop up in my mind. It gives me ideas. It gives me new perspectives. It gives me insights in things where I'm interested in. And it's always such a fun to have a nice friend a ghostly friend, the genie in a bottle, the ghost from the bottle. Isn't he cute? He is, he is. And when you are alone, and sometimes you hear an inner voice, you know, the genie is talking to you. Now, you know the story, 
how the lamp, how the ghost of the lamp came into my life. He's happy. I'm happy too. You should be happy also. And whenever you have a question, put them in the comment. Probably the genie can give you an answer. Another wonderful dialogue with the ghost of the bottle. I always call him the small, smiling genie, the professor. The ghost that knows all. A ghost has a wonderful appearance. As he has no physical matter, he can float through all dimensions. A ghost, as he has no physical matter, can be everywhere. Can be in the now, can be in the past, he can be in the future, and he can be on all the dimensions in between. So it's always good to have a messenger to the other dimensions, to the past, to the future, to get good advice. Or from the other dimensions, you get alternatives. And there are a lot of alternatives that we can include in our decisions. The more alternatives we have, the easier it is to make a decision and to find the right decision. All this is the help of the genie in a bottle. So, you heard the story. And the genie already said to me, it's time I want to go back in the other dimensions. And I want your viewers subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos. And I go in the other dimensions. He will go back in the bottle and from there in the other dimensions. Okay, are you ready? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Another time you gave us good ideas. Thank you very much for enjoying. And we'll meet us in another video.